Hello and welcome back to Hammer and Squatch Productions. Please keep watching my videos and please subscribe. It would be much appreciated. So, DJ, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name, I'm sorry. But, so the New York Yankees signed DJ to a six-year, $90 million contract. Roughly $15 million per year. He's 32. Yes, he did finish third in MVP voting last year. Yes, he had a career high 1.011 OPS. And yes, he is a three time All Star and a three time Gold Glover. And, a, and last year he also did win, win his second uh, Silver Slugger. But so roughly, so he's 32 now. This six years, six years. So this he's on, on contract till he's thirty eight. I don't know if I I wouldn't have signed him to that kind of contract. I mean, yeah, the Yankees have money to burn, but you gotta be smart here. I mean, definitely he can maybe have another two, three more years, but the back end of that contract is going to really burn the Yankees. If his production like falls off, because we've seen guys have great years then fall off. I th um, the guy in Baltimore, I'm trying to. Th I think his name was uh, Chris Davis. I think it, yeah, it was Chris Davis signed a big contract with the Orioles, and it has um, completely backfired. Really, to the point where you can't. I mean, they've got like five fifth degree burns if there's a such thing on their butts in uh, in Baltimore. So this one could also backfire because sooner or later they've also got to sign, um, uh, not Stan, um, Judge to a big contract sooner or later. And I think there's one other guy that's going to be on contract, Gary Sanchez. They also have to make a decision about Sanchez. Um, I've heard that they might be willing, might be looking into trading Sanchez. But again, DJ. I mean, yeah, he he's been he's hit fifty one home runs in the past three years. Though, I mean, I, I really don't see why they really wanted to pay him this much. He, I mean, yes, he's a he's a good he's a good um guy to have. He can hit hit I mean, hit really well. He's hit over three hundred uh, three hundred average for over the last five years. Um, but really, we don't you we don't know how much longer this is going to last. We have, you know, you got to play it smart. I would have signed him to maybe a four-year contract and see as, and then maybe uh, as see whether or not he's still productive and then sign him to another contract. Unless, uh, you know, he was leveraging, you know, and they like panicked a little bit and so they gave him this big contract. But again, you know, the Yankees got mo the money to burn. So, I mean, they could trade him and eat the dead cap anytime they want or Sat in that dead cap. Well, basically, let's just call it dead cap. Um, so yeah, but maybe this uh, this could be like also like a Robinson Cano situation where, yeah, he'll have a few good years in the contract, but then kind of start to decline, then come back, but then decline. So it could be an up and down, you know, you never know. And like, you probably wouldn't. Like, what would he have looked like if it was a full 100 in game? Because before, uh, other than this year, he's never had, he only had one other season where he had an OPS of over a 900. His normal is like seven to 800. Now, that's still okay. That's still good. But if that was a 162-game season, that's probably where his uh, OPS would have been. And... I'm surprised he finished third in MVP voting. Cause he kind of, kind of, he didn't put up that good of a numbers, I guess, for a six. But I guess he, they people found him to be um, that good for the amount, amount of games that he played. So that, so that's surprising. So, uh, but serious, but honestly, they could have also maybe gone out and found or traded for somebody because. Uh, I mean, yeah, the the free agent pool is kind of weak this year, but they could have maybe leveraged and traded him for somebody better. Because, I mean, what 
all they need is really more hitting in defense because they've already got the slugging. I mean, you got you got Judge and Stanton, even though Stanton's been. Uh, I mean, you got Judge and Stanton. What else do you freaking need? You don't need another freaking power hitter. What you need is defense pitching. Well, they did sign their pitcher the other year ago for that ridiculous contract, and I still can't believe they actually gave him that much. But they're the Yankees. I mean, we'll do the same thing every now and then. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that was a bad signing a long time ago. So, yeah, those that's my take on it. We'll see how it goes, but 